Hi, my name is Wendy and this is my self-built tiny home, Arista. And I'm putting her up for sale, so I'm gonna give you a tour of her. She's built on a tiny home trailer built by Iron Eagle. Welded to each corner underneath, she has leveling jacks. Underneath, she has a galvanized steel. Her siding and trim is all a high quality steel ag panel. It's very durable, has a 45 year warranty on the paint job and was really inexpensive. So if somebody wanted to take it off and replace it, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Underneath is three quarter inch plywood, or shear wall, two tires on each side, extra wide door with a keypad to enter, and vinyl windows. The upstairs ones are big enough that a person could climb out them if they were, they were in an emergency. So this is the kitchen against this side of the tiny house. It has a Magic Chef four cubic foot refrigerator with a freezer and a two burner induction stove top, tile backsplash, magnetic knife holder, wood framing around the windows. That's reclaimed cedar back there on the wall. Butcher block countertops. These cabinets right here are solid white oak, extremely well made by a friend of mine over 20 years ago. They were in my parents' house and they let me take them and put them in the tiny house. I refinished them. They're absolutely gorgeous. More cabinet space, bookshelves. This right here is a an electric radiant heater. It's super efficient, keeps the space really nice and toasty. This end of the tiny house with the living room in it on the wall that is blue stained pine paneling. This couch I made and it pulls out to a queen size bed, which I'll demonstrate. There it is, queen size bed. This living room end of the tiny house has several layers of insulation. So it's well beyond R20. It has regular R13 insulation and then it has a couple of layers of solid foam insulation in there. This room over here is the toilet room. I used to have a composting toilet in here. Needs. You know, a toilet, whatever toilet somebody wants to bring that's self-contained. There are lots of different kinds. I'm not gonna choose it for someone. My composting toilet was at the end of its life, so I didn't feel like I should pass it on. It has two kinds of lighting. So it has some um, battery operated touch LCD lights for being off grid. These, this is a coat rack where the coat racks are made from repurposed railroad spikes. This is the stairs that go up to one of the lofts. Up in that loft, there is a brand new, never used full-size mattress. You can see it fits up there perfectly with plenty of room for people to sleep. This tiny house can sleep up to six people comfortably. The cabinets under the stairs for storage. This one down here is good for shoes and that sort of thing. There's a little step to help get up on there. On the surface of the steps, there is luxury vinyl plank because it'll keep it from getting dirty with people's feet and that sort of thing. And it just looks nice. This is a brand new 
luxury vinyl plank floor in here. It goes into the tub room. There's a closet, a closet pole, and a shelf. Again, we have the repurposed cedar on the walls, towel hooks. This is a battery operated shower. A uh, bucket for holding water, steps to get in, and underneath is where the water can be caught that comes out, and then you just dump out your gray water afterwards. This tiny house can be plugged in either to electricity um, at a hookup or at a home, or it can be supported by the EcoFlow generator with solar panels that are included. This is a hand cranked clothes washing machine. And this is an electric clothes spinner that gets out about 75 to 90% of the water in the clothes so then you can hang them to dry. So that's Arista, the tiny house on wheels. I lived in her quite comfortably for three solid years. I loved every moment of it. There's such a wonderful, cozy, comfortable feeling in here. There's a sense of peace, calm, simplicity, and adventure. Uh, about this tiny house. So I'm really hoping that she goes to a good home and that someone else really enjoys the kind of uh, low impact living that Arista was intended for.